What if everything you were told about peripheral neuropathy was wrong? There's an enormous amount of neuropathy information that is completely inaccurate and completely outdated, but it's still being told to patients by their well-meaning doctors. Today, I'm gonna bust the most common myths about peripheral neuropathy that are holding you hostage and ruining your life. Hi, I'm Dr. Valerie Montero, leading expert in peripheral neuropathy, co-author of the critically acclaimed book, Defeat Neuropathy Now in Spite of Your Doctor, and the ebook, The Great Neuropathy Hoax, and co-founder of Nephoria CM. My mission is to empower each and every one of you so you're not resigned to giving up and just living with this horrible condition. If you're new to my videos, click on the subscribe button and also on the bell so you can get notified as soon as I publish new content. Let's get started. Do you know there are 24 million people currently suffering from peripheral neuropathy and this number continues to grow each year? If you're watching this video, chances are you or someone you love suffers with peripheral neuropathy symptoms that can become debilitating. Symptoms like numbness, tingling, burning, pins and needles, lightning bolt-like pain, loss of balance, and more. Well, it's time that you knew the truth. There is hope and your nerves can heal and regenerate. This isn't just my opinion. This is based on the scientific evidence that has been published in well-respected medical journeys. In fact, it may shock you to find out that there are some countries in Europe and parts of Asia that have been successfully healing peripheral neuropathy for well over 30 years. But here in the US, less than 1% of the doctors know how to successfully reverse damaged peripheral nerves. So why is this, you might ask? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First, according to a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, it takes over 23 years for well-researched information to make it into clinical practice. 23 years! Secondly, pharmaceutical companies are earning approximately $4.2 billion a year on Lyrica and the generic pregabalin, and another $2.9 billion a year on gabapentin. Not to mention they're earning $4.9 billion a year on Cymbalta and Duloxetine. So do you really think that pharmaceutical companies are eager for you to learn about a drug-free, safe and effective treatment to heal your damaged nerves? No, they're not. And they'll do everything in their power to block and undermine the widespread publication of the research studies. Because of this, it takes quite a bit of digging, not to mention time for doctors to find these clinical studies. The average doctor doesn't have the time, nor the motivation to go hunting for the information. As a result, most doctors, including neurologists, remain outdated in their information. And that's the reason that 99% of doctors in the US continue to circulate inaccurate information about peripheral neuropathy and recovery. Before I go over the biggest neuropathy myths, I want to let you know that I'm offering my ebook, The Great Neuropathy Hoax, as a gift for anyone watching today. This ebook will truly help you understand your neuropathy and how you can recover from it. I'll leave the links in the description box below so you can download it after watching this video. Okay, so let's get started with busting these neuropathy myths. Myth number one, nerves don't heal. Once they're damaged, that's it. That is absolutely false. Tell me in the comment section if you've heard this below. Here's where the confusion comes in. Our nervous system is made up of two parts. The central nervous system, made up of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, made up of the nerves that branch off from the spinal cord and extend to all parts of the body. The nerves of the central nervous system, remember, that's the brain and the spinal cord, they cannot spontaneously regenerate after incurring damage or an injury. However, this isn't the same for the peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nerves can and do regenerate after they've been damaged or an injury has occurred to them. 
This has been proven in many clinical studies, including studies done by Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital, which is ranked in the top five for best hospitals in the United States. So here's an example. Every year, there are thousands of cases of people who have cut off fingers, toes, and even people who have severed an arm. These people have had their digits or limbs surgically reattached and with time for healing and physical therapy, they can regain function. If peripheral nerves didn't heal or regenerate, it would be impossible to reattach fingers, toes, or arms. So peripheral nerves absolutely can heal. Many times they just need additional assistance to begin the regenerative process. Now, myth number two, there is no cure for peripheral neuropathy or damaged peripheral nerves. This is 100% false. So when a doctor goes to med school, they're taught that peripheral nerves have the full capability to heal and regenerate. We're taught this in school. Then we get out of school and we begin to forget our basic physiology and neurology. So while in practice, after not seeing any changes in peripheral nerve patients in a couple of weeks, we then come to the incorrect conclusion of, hey, they just don't heal. So most doctors then go on their merry way and never think twice about it. All the while, 24 million people continue to suffer and become disabled from this horrible condition. I'm embarrassed to admit that I too was one of those doctors until it directly impacted my life when my mother developed a severe case of peripheral neuropathy from chemotherapy. It left her debilitated. So ironically, her cancer went into remission, but she wasn't able to celebrate that momentous occasion because her symptoms destroyed her quality of life. At this point, I wasn't willing to sit back and watch her suffer like this. So that's when I set out to find a solution for her condition. And I was shocked to discover that some countries in Europe and Asia have been successfully reversing peripheral neuropathy for well over 30 years. In fact, that's how I came up with the protocol to reverse my own mother's severe neuropathy. I utilized European clinical protocols and it worked. Her damaged peripheral nerves healed. All of her symptoms resolved. No more crying herself to sleep at night from the pain. She was able to get rid of her cane and get back to living again. Although I followed European research, I'm pleased to say now here in the US, there is more research than ever that's proven peripheral nerve damage can be repaired. One way to facilitate nerve repair is by taking critical nutrients shown in clinical studies to facilitate nerve regeneration. Nutrients like R-alpha-lipoic acid, a fat-soluble form of uh, vitamin B called benfodiamine, a specific form of vitamin B6 called pyridoxal 5-phosphate, and the natural form of vitamin B12 called methylcobalamin. These have been proven to be highly effective for aiding in the repair and regeneration of peripheral nerves. Other critical nutrients that help to restore peripheral nerve function are acetyl-L-carnitine, L-citrulline, and folate. In fact, that's how we came up with our formula, Nephoria CM Gold and Blue for nerve repair. We gathered all of the data from the research to develop our neuropathy support formula. Research has also revealed that the use of near-infrared laser therapy, also known as low-level light therapy, or LLT, is extremely effective for repair and regeneration of peripheral nerves. So, you might be asking yourself, why doesn't my doctor know about this research? Unfortunately, most doctors, regardless of their specialty, are overwhelmed with a large volume of patient care, leaving them little to no time to stay on top of the current research. And let me tell you, it's no easy task to stay current with the research, especially when Big Pharma is doing anything and everything in their power to bury everything that isn't related to drugs that they can make billions from. When I was digging through the research for repairing peripheral nerve damage, I literally spent over a hundred hours looking for a solution. But remember, I had a huge motivating factor. My mother's quality of life depended upon it. Most doctors don't have the time, nor do they have the same motivation that I had. Statistics show that here in the US, less than 1% of doctors know how to reverse peripheral neuropathy. Dr. Coppola and I are working to change that statistic. We now have a training program for doctors teaching them how to reverse and repair peripheral nerve damage.
So let's move on to myth number three. Only people with diabetes develop peripheral neuropathy. This is completely inaccurate. Statistics reveal that diabetic patients only account for one third of all neuropathy cases. So that means out of 24 million Americans afflicted with peripheral neuropathy, only 8 million are from diabetes. Now, if you do have diabetic neuropathy, one of the most important things that you need to do is decrease your glucose levels and maintain them. You'll be hard pressed to accomplish this with medication alone. You need to make dietary changes. For those of you that are interested, click the link below at the bottom of this page to get my tips for the best diet to control your glucose levels. Here's a surprising fact. A 2009 study published in the Neuropathy Association revealed that for every diabetic neuropathy patient, there are at least six more patients suffering with other various forms of neuropathies. Peripheral neuropathy can be caused by things such as chemotherapy, medications, for example, cholesterol-lowering medications known as statin drugs, and high blood pressure medications called calcium channel blockers like amlodipine or Norvasc. There are other causes of peripheral neuropathy like prediabetes, B vitamin deficiencies, alcohol abuse, daily alcohol consumption, surgeries, irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcer ulcerative colitis, gluten sensitivity or celiac disease, autoimmune diseases, kidney disease, and thyroid disease to name just a few causes. Next myth, number four. My neuropathy symptoms are well controlled by medication, so I'm doing just fine. Well, not only is this false, but this line of thinking can get you into big trouble down the line. Here's what I mean by that. Medications like Lyrica or the generic pregabalin, gabapentin, Neurontin, Orgrelis, and Cymbalta or the generic Deloxetine only mask the symptoms associated with peripheral neuropathy at best. They don't prevent the nerve damage and they do nothing to repair the nerves and the underlying condition will continue to worsen with time. Medicating peripheral neuropathy symptoms is like taking the battery out of your smoke alarm to stop the noise. But you never call the fire department to put out the fire. If all you do is medicate your peripheral neuropathy symptoms, with time you'll find that you need to take higher doses of these medications to get the same pain relief until one day you've reached the maximum dose of the pain meds and it's no longer working to control the symptoms. Yes, controlling neuropathy symptoms is very important because they can be debilitating. But make sure you're addressing the root cause of your neuropathy and working on repairing the damage that's been done to the peripheral nerves. Myth number five. My symptoms are very mild and don't interfere with my life, so it's no big deal. This is false. Many neuropathy sufferers who only suffer from mild numbness or tingling can function without any problem. These symptoms may only be a mild inconvenience, so they think, it's no big deal. You know, they can wait. These mild symptoms, they'll probably just go away on their own. Well, what they don't understand is that what they're feeling is only the tip of the iceberg. However, a study published in the British Medical Journal showed that 75% of peripheral neuropathy sufferers who did nothing about the numbness and tingling had either pain or disability 12 months later. Multiple research publications have revealed that if ignored, the symptoms can intensify causing loss of sensation, unremitting pain, and yes, even disability. So these are the five most common myths about peripheral neuropathy that are absolutely not true. Any doctor that continues to perpetuate these myths is a doctor that is very far behind in the research, no matter how well-intentioned he or she may be. Now, I wanna hear from you. Tell me which one of these myths you've heard or you've been told by your doctor. Tell me which one of these myths you thought were true. Are you shocked? How are you feeling? Are you angry? Leave me a comment in the description box below and tell me which myth you've heard. You don't have to settle for living with your neuropathy for the rest of your life. You have options. 
the basic foundation that Dr. Coppola and I always start with for our patients is by prescribing Neforia CM Golden Blue. This is the most cost-effective start. We develop these formulas based on over 100 clinical studies that have proven the effectiveness of the critical ingredients for repairing and regenerating damaged peripheral nerves. For those of you that would like to learn more about these formulas, just click the link below. Some of you will want to simply digest the information that I've shared with you today, and that's perfectly fine. It's a great start. For more eye-opening information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to take control, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel or head over to our website for up-to-date blogs, information, and real patient testimonials. Remember, you don't have to live with peripheral neuropathy. You can get back to living again. I look forward to seeing you on your journey to great health. Blessings.